Okay, well here's my latest uh, creation here. It's a um, it's a pulse motor that I 3D printed the whole thing and put my name on the bottom here. And this is all using Tinkercad uh, uh, 3D printing software to design with. And I'm getting better at it, but it's taken me a long time to learn how to do this. But yeah, this is all 3D printed uh, plastic uh, pulse motor. Um, the rotor here, the magnets are just held on with a traction. They're not glued, but you can fiddle around with these magnets, put them in different spots or add or subtract them, do whatever you want to do. And that, it was kind of like that puzzle motor that I was showing before where you could try different things to see what worked the best. And uh, same thing with the bottom here is um, I made it so that you can um, put the driver in here, uh, different kinds of drivers, and experiment with that. And I'll show that in a second, but let me get it running here. See if I can get it to go with one hand. There it goes. And this is just a simple uh, reed switch driver on this one. You can probably hear it ticking away. But it made a really uh, neat kind of a desktop item that. Uh, would be fun. It would be a great Christmas gift. A guy that has everything. You know, and it warranted the walk around because when I get something like this that is looks like it's self-running, I always try to do this walk around just to show that it's not being blown by hot air or something. Some guy just making a fake. And the guys that know me know why I do this because of the Romero project. But, um, there it is, running away. And let me show you what's going on inside here. Uh, like I say, I made this so that it was like the puzzle motor where you could try different things on it and then um, figure out what you liked the best. But I just finally came to the conclusion that a, a reed switch driver was the best thing here. And what's in here, um, it's a slide lid And there's the little driver. And that's all there is to it. It's a coil, a reed switch, and a um, 2.7 um, volt um, small supercapacitor. And you just uh, fill it up with um, a battery. You just take the battery and charge it up, and you close it back up, and it runs for, I don't know, five or ten minutes. And uh, that's all there is to that. And like I said, I made this so that if you wanted to change the driver out, it was really simple to just uh, pop the driver out and put something else in there that you wanted to drive the motor with. And uh, the lid was a fun little project, the slide lid, to make something that I liked uh, to close the box up. And then, of course, uh, what kind of driver you used it's kind of your choice on the thing, but anyway, that's the latest project here. That's the, uh, the basically the Christmas project for 2022. Thanks for watching.